Uh, a new story that's not a uh, major story. Well, I guess Image is, at this point, one of the top three. Um, yeah, okay, still. so... Uh, the uh, saga is a quite well-renowned, critically acclaimed uh, comic book storyline from Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. Um, it recently came back uh, about... 18 months ago, two years ago, they had stopped for a long time at issue 50, I think, uh, or 48 or something, and then they started mm -hmm. uh, continuing the story. I'm only like 20 issues in, I think, to the to the. I started reading it uh, a while ago on digital, uh, okay. and it's fantastic. Like, it, uh, I'm mm -hmm. not surprised that Eric Kripke wants to do this. So, yeah. um, the boys' creator really wants to make a saga movie or television show. Oh, it should be a television show. Um, yeah, 100. percent as part of the Hollywood profile, Hollywood Reporter's profile, the 50 most powerful showrunners in Hollywood, the trade spoke with the boys showrunner Eric Kripke, uh, who also did Supernatural, uh, who revealed that tackling Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples' saga comic is his dream project. Saga by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples, I'm obsessed with it. So insane and so grounded at the same time, Brian and Fiona call me. Uh, he then took to X, formerly known as Twitter. How long are they gonna? <laughs> how long are they gonna have to say f always formerly known as Twitter? Um, uh, I'm probably gonna say as long as it's not making any money, which it isn't. And I mean, don't be surprised that in a year or less, we see some drastic change, and it, the very possibility of it going back to Twitter. <laughs> If it survives. Um, <laughs> if it survives. Which it might not, dude. It's crazy. Uh, to double down on a statement implying that he mostly agreed to do the profile to let BKV and Staples know that he's serious about ad ad adapting Saga. Uh, quote, thanks for the smoke up my pooper, <laughs> Hollywood reporter, but mostly this is my desperate campaign to get Brian K. Vaughn. If you're on Staples to let me have the rights to Saga, I'll treat your baby well. Uh, and I'm sure he will. <laughs> Uh, first yeah. released in 2012, Saga was instantly one of the most critically acclaimed best-selling comic book titles. Described as Star Wars meets Game of Thrones, the comic book follows Hazel, the daughter of two people from opposing alien races. The story is clearly told in the form of Hazel, appearing in the past, describing how her parents, Elena and Marco, met, fell in love, and reared her amid a bitterly fought and often gruesome conflict between two drastically different cosmic empires. Uh, the series went on a lengthy hiatus from July 2018 to January 2022 to allow BKV and Staples time to recuperate from burnout and plan out the, the remaining arcs of the story. To this, the series is very popular, but hasn't quite reached the same heights as the initial run, with some fans stating that the lengthy hiatus and slow burn, slow burning pot plot progression has since the series return has led to some them losing interest. Mm -hmm. To date, 66 issues of the series have been released and compiled in 11 trade volumes. <clears throat> uh, Kripke's interest in the saga goes back to his Supernatural days, where he would, ca would have cast... He where he would sometimes have the cast wearing Saga T-shirts or slip in references to the ongoing. Oh, never even noticed that. Uh, wow. While initially against Saga being turned into a TV show, maybe BKV eventually changed his mind. Saying in 2017, maybe when the story is finished, I think Fiona and I are both open to Saga possibly being translated to another medium someday. Uh, we've gotten a lot of very flattering offers, but for the moment, we're just concentrating on trying to make it the greatest comic book we can. Yep. Um, monthly title reportedly crossed the halfway point with issue 54 and we'll be releasing issue 67 later this month. If there's not another lengthy hiatus, the comic should wrap in another four or five years. Oof. It's going to take a while. Wow. Uh, yeah. So That's I would crazy. totally be on board for this. I would trust Eric Kripke to do the show right. Um, although that having said that, I'm only 20 issues is in, so I'm not sure where the story is going. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's very... It's a very interesting world to, well, universe, anyways. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So let us know if you like Saga and uh, want to see Eric Kripke take this on, uh, or if you have someone else who might be better. I don't know. I don't. I, is there really anyone better right now at, at adapting comic book um, stuff for TV? I don't know. I don't think so. But because I mean, you, I you could, could say wrong. Seth Rogen because he did Preacher and that was amazing, but. He's also Dude, involved Invincible in the season two is big. Yeah, and Invincible. He's Very also involved good. in Invincible. So it's been really good. And he did the Fuck. Turtles, which was really good. The animated show, so or the animated right. movie. So yeah, maybe just give it to um, Evan Goldberg, Seth Rogen, and Aaron Kripke. 
that's probably the best idea. Ooh, trifecta like that. All right, now and uh, a word from our sponsor. Your your new multi-vendor marketplace, YouSellComics.com, offers a site exclusively for buying and selling of all things comics. Slabs, Omnis, Trades, and more. Sell for as low as 5% commission or zero commission monthly tiers. Run your own auctions, unlimited bin listings. YouSellComics.com. Buy, collect, sell. 